we're going to look at C2 paper, May 2016, question 9. So you can see here, part A says, find in meter squared the exact area of the sector FEA, giving your answer in terms of X in its simplest form. So the first thing we do is we look at our diagram and see what information we can add to it. We can see that one of the sides is X, therefore, because it's the radius, it must also be X here. Because it's an equilateral triangle, then all the other sides must also be X. So we're going to have an X there and an X there. Next, we can think about the angles. In an equilateral triangle, all the angles will be 60 degrees. You'll notice that this picture doesn't really look like it's an equilateral triangle. And often they'll make it slightly out of scale because they want you to use your knowledge rather than just going off what it looks like. So an equilateral triangle, we know that all the angles must be 60 degrees. Which means that this angle of our sector must be 120 degrees since they both lie on a straight line that must add up to 180. We're going to be dealing with radians, and that's because the area for our sector, area of our sector, I'll draw a sector here, this equals a half r squared theta. In the derivation of this, if you've seen that, you, theta has to be in radians, therefore we have to convert our 120 into radians. And we'll do that by remembering that 180 degrees equals pi. Therefore, 1 degree will equal pi divided by 180. And finally, we want to get to 120, so we're going to times both sides by 120. We can simplify the right-hand side, uh, dividing both sides, top and bottom, by 60, so we get 2 over 3. So we're going to substitute in to our equation. We've got a half r squared we know is x squared, and theta is 2 over 3 pi. Our 2s are going to cancel, and we're going to be left with... over 3x squared.